Peace, everyone. This is your girl, Nikisha, with Favor Flow Restorative, where we unleash harmony, mind, body, and soul. We're here for yet another essential oil reading, okay? So, but let's get started first with a sacral cleanse. So if you have sound sensitivities, please feel free to turn down your volume and three, two, one. comes out this week for us and again the whole point of doing this is to ensure that we know that we can use the practices and tools from mother earth mother father earth to heal our emotional patterns emotions feelings Let's see what's going to come out. Oh. Being shy, that one looked like it was trying to come out. Let's see what happens. take myrrh okay what y'all know about myrrh so myrrh it soothes comforts and brings transcendence wow come on transcendence i need a little bit of that on my side this week okay so it's been used for over 4,000 years. Ancient Egyptians used the yellow resin from the small thorny myrrh tree as incense and in their embalming rituals that honored the dead on their travels to the afterlife. It's also believed that the Queen of Sheba brought myrrh to seduce King Solomon. Um, the ancient Greeks used the plant in perfumery. The Hebrews drank myrrh with wine as a preparation for religious ceremonies um, and as a way to raise their consciousness. So come on with that, okay? So modern research is proving what the ancients seem to have already known. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that how it always is though? So it's a natural medicine Okay, so it can treat a wide range of conditions, um, including back and joint pain, muscle aches, menstrual cramps. Um, there was another study that found that compounds in myrrh essential oil work by inducing cell death, a process known as apoptosis. Apoptosis. In cancer cells. I don't know if I said that right, but I hope I did. But it goes way beyond cancer. Um, it also assists in treating nervous system, respiratory, and skin conditions. So, um, it sounds like an amazing essential oil. I'm so excited. Um, I think that this is significant. It's been found to cross the blood-brain barrier, which could account for its ability to help with nervous system health and to calm the mind. Okay, so it can be used for anxiety, bleeding gums, bronchitis, cancer, chapped skin, um, colds, coughs, depression, digestive problems, dry skin, eczema, um, feeling cold, immune health, infection, 
Um, it can assist with meditation. Come on, meditation. Mouth ulcers, um, periodontal or gum disease, respiratory congestion, skin care, stomach cramps, thyroid health, viruses, worms and ringworm, wounds and wrinkles, and fine lines. So let's give it up for Myrrh. Let's see if we can find some more information on Myrrh to be able to use this week. And remember, I'm going to come back and create another video that really goes into the blends that we can create and the emotional patterns that we can let go with the use of myrrh. Here we go. They've got some information about myrrh. Let's see what they say. Ooh, so it's classified as um, whenever you're talking about essential oils. Um, I take pride in the fact that my essential oil blends smell amazing. And it's because I look at the type of hints um, that they have. Um, so this one is warm, earthy, woody, and balsamic. Okay, so this is going to do really well, like extraction method is through um, steam distillation but it blends really really well with clove with frankincense and with geranium i also have myrrh in my smudge stick spray and oils as a way to cleanse energy um it's also a anti-inflammatory antimicrobial an antiseptic and astringent um and we already said it was a sedative and it's a tonic. It can help to clear ailments such as colds, coughs, sore throats, and bronchitis. And you can use it in a burner, a vaporizer, the bath, blended massage oil. Okay. So that's a little bit about myrrh. I know last time we were able to see where it, where this oil was associated with the chakra centers and check it out it is actually associated with the root chakra so i know you won't be able to see all of that but it is associated with the root chakra which is um characteristic characterized by the color red and um it's at the base of the spine okay so the primary function is grounding and security, um, survival, primal energy, taking care of yourself and others, um, the driving divine principle of this specific chakra system is simplicity and basics. So it's about stability, self-preservation, um, awakening and primal instincts. And then uh, the physical property of like the way that we feel it in our senses um, concerning the root chakra and specifically is um, anxiety, dyslexia, grounding and physical plane. That is so me. <laughs> and the anatomical connections is reproductive system. So sex, testes, vagina, pelvis, legs, feet, and tailbone. Um, connected with the adrenal glands. Um, and emotional connections, your, it's based on your physical needs. So it's like your base needs of safety and security, assisting you to be grounded. Um, maybe you're starting some new behaviors, right? Maybe you're challenging yourself and you're like, you know, I'm going to eat better. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to, you know, whatever it is that you're choosing to do to ensure that you're meeting your needs, that you're taking care of yourself, that you're um, feeling really safe and secure within yourself to make sure that you're grounded. There's a lot of things going on in our world right now. And um, I've just decided just to be on my own journey because the only journey that I can control is my own. And so I am grateful to the fact that like myrrh is the oil of the week because it really is about being grounded at this time, um, especially whenever it comes to recognizing through self-awareness that maybe um, some behaviors need to move or maybe some behaviors need to be established to create the like security and safety that me your body is yearning for, that you know your spirit is yearning for. Um, so this is about sexuality. It can also be about fear. Um, there's a lot of things in our experience that, 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 you know, promote fear. So, um, myrrh, okay. Myrrh, myrrh, myrrh. <laughs>
Okay, so it's connected to the planet Saturn. Element is Earth. And as far as aromatherapy, it actually comes as cinnamon. The um, myrrh was actually associated with an incense. So that's interesting. I know that um, there are spaces that you can buy um, like uh, myrrh incense. And so if that's, you know, the modality you want to use myrrh in, I love the essential oil. I think it's also interesting that the aromatherapy associated with it is cinnamon. So that must mean that you could create a blend with cinnamon and myrrh to create um now, what I, what I know about cinnamon is I think of cinnamon as protection, right? But I also love the smell. It's like fall now, so then it also goes with like the fall feel. So myrrh and cinnamon, I bet is delicious. So we'll dive deeper into that into the next video. Um, the metal is lead. The sound is, oh, the food is protein. So however you gain your protein, that's the root area. area. Um, fragrance is cedar. And um, gemstones are bloodstone and hematite. So I always go through that because um, when we're looking at um, using different oils, essential oils, herbs, the universe is so expansive and everything is connected. And so sometimes when we're able to see like how we're looking at emotional patterns, for instance, when we're able to see um, the connections between what it is that we're doing, we may also, you know, pair what we're doing with other things to create a more expansive experience. And so that's what I'm super, super excited about. So, um, I'm going to leave it here um, because we have found our essential oil, which is myrrh. So, yeah, check out myrrh. Um, do your own research. Just don't depend on me for the information. Um, find out why myrrh is coming up in your experience this week and how it shows up. Appreciate it. Think, think it. Give it gratitude. And we'll look out for the next video where we dive deep and being able to use myrrh as a way to break our emotional patterns. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. We are about to get out of here, so I'm gonna play the bowl again. If you have sound sensitivity again, turn your volume down in three, two, one. See you later.